Recent research from Denmark says that medications first intended to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity might actually help treat alcohol and drug addiction. It's all about the GLP-1 medications. This class of drugs includes semaglutide, which you might know as Ozempic or Wegovy, terzepatide, which you might know as Manjaro or Zepbound, and even the older ones, Trulicity. The science name for that one is Liraglutide. Big Pharma is making a lot of money off GLP-1 medications right now, and there are more coming. Rumor has it that there are a huge number of GLP-1 medications coming our way from other companies who are going to try to compete with Lilly and Novo Nordisk, Ozempic, and Manjaro. We're going to see this whole GLP-1 drug class blow up over the next couple of years. Why would these drugs affect your cravings for alcohol? Well, here's the thing. We know that GLP-1 medications change how your gut works. And there's a whole bunch of hormones that GLP-1 medications help work better and help your body produce more of. And those hormones are regulating things like how full you feel when you're eating, how generally hungry you feel throughout the day, how quickly you digest your food, which makes you feel full longer. They also just generally improve your metabolism and your overall sensitivity to insulin. These medications can also reduce the release of dopamine, also known as the pleasure hormone. This means that when you're drinking alcohol and you would normally feel good when you're drinking alcohol, it doesn't feel so rewarding anymore. Other studies are looking at the impact of GLP-1 medications on other addictive behavior, like smoking, shopping, gambling. Researchers in Denmark also looked at the registries in Sweden of people taking GLP-1 medications to treat type 2 diabetes or obesity, but then they looked at the impact that it was also having on those participants' alcohol consumption. And I'm talking about 228 thousand people that they were observing and tracking who were using GLP-1 medications. Guess what they found out? Their risk of being hospitalized for something related to alcohol consumption was significantly lower while they were on the GLP-1 medication compared to before. There's a lot more research to be done here before they start prescribing GLP-1 medications to people who are struggling with alcohol addiction but it looks pretty hopeful. It looks like these medications might really help people with a variety of addictive disorders. If you're curious about GLP-1 medications, but you can't get your hands on one, check out the link below for Yara. Yara is making GLP-1 medications easier to get and more affordable. If you didn't already like this video and subscribe to this channel, please do so. It means a lot. Thank you.